And Customs Enforcement says one of three teenagers arrested in the killing of a New Orleans tour guide was in the country illegally. ICE says 19-year-old Joshua Bonifacio was, a, was arrested for theft in Kenner in 2023 and again in 2024 for theft and contributing to the delinquency of a juvenile. The department says he also had three Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office fugitive attachments. Funeral services were held today for Christy Thibodeau, the French Quarter tour guide shot and killed on St. Peter Street 10 days ago. At the same time, there were new developments in the effort to reform the state's juvenile justice system. Robinson reports. Mourners went to Lake Lawn Funeral Home paying last respects to 43-year-old Christy Thibodeau, a tour guide murdered in the heart of the French Quarter 10 days ago. It's tragic that, you know, the fact that this woman is gone and you know, we can't bring him back. The day after, Attorney General Liz Murrell called for an investigation into an electronic monitoring program that fell short. Members of her staff went to Mid-City to meet with one of the state's largest monitor providers. Having the state police involved and seeing things are starting to change, there's definitely some hope in the city of New Orleans. The alleged gunman in the Thibodeau case, 15-year-old Kevin Nunez, was wearing a monitor at the time of her death, provided by a company called BI. But a source says it was deactivated and not actively monitored. And in spite of a warrant for Nunez's arrest, he was out on the streets. We need to know the root cause of this problem. During the meeting with state troopers, real-time monitoring came into play. A man charged with violent crimes, Zachary Hunt, wearing a monitor that was being actively supervised by ASAP release, escaped from Orleans Criminal Court and was tracked by his monitor and recaptured. Went right back to his house and uh, led us on a foot chase. We captured him again with the assistance of NOPD and the state police. So, I mean, live tracking, that's the definition of live tracking. Now the state is looking at ways of providing the same type of active monitoring in juvenile court. But if your equipment don't live track, then turn off Fred Flintstone. Because we're in the modern world where every our cell phones live track. Rules governing monitoring companies are important, as are rules governing juvenile court judges. And for now, all eyes are on the state Supreme Court. And I've called for the Supreme Court to tighten up its supervision over the juvenile court. ASAP Release has been hesitant to work with juvenile court because of what it calls poor enforcement of monitor rules. If you violate a rule or a condition on an ankle monitor and we report that to the court or the judge or the sheriff or whoever and they do nothing, I can't help you. Our Fox 8 legal analyst says the state Supreme Court is the appropriate body to try and enact new rules to better monitor juveniles and perhaps save lives. They're all elected, but every lawyer in the state of Louisiana and every judge in the state of Louisiana has to answer to those seven people. Do you have any idea how avoidable this was? This is a woman that is dead, completely avoidable. And while real-time monitoring of ankle bracelets is available for juvenile offenders, a law enforcement says a state contract with a company called BI Monitors only provides for monthly reports on an offender's activities. The attorney general's investigation into juvenile court breakdowns has begun. The AG says everything is now on the table for review.